We're going to flow right into finance now. Uh, the first order of business is to approve uh, March 15th committee meeting. Motion made by Supervisor McDevitt, seconded by Supervisor Frazier. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Um, short agenda, but probably a lengthy discussion afterwards. Uh, we will have to go into executive session after. Um, but why don't we start off with um, privilege of the committee with any uh, comments or questions, and then we'll go to the floor. Nothing? Okay. Let's start off with uh, item two, request uh, for a transfer of funds as attached for committee approval. What do we have total here? Oh, just the one, okay. For 14470 bucks. Motion made by Supervisor Simpson, second by Supervisor Dickinson. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Item three. Request uh, for an item to be discussed by the county treasurer, Michael. Uh, basically, I'm just asking that um, the resolution number three of 2017 be uh, amended. We have to set a limit as to the amount of deposits we can have in each bank. Um, I, I don't think we'll hit this, but we have the large bond coming up at the end of May, first part of June, um, which would be fourteen and a half million dollars. So I'm concerned that we may not, we may go above the limit that was in that resolution, the start of the 17th. So I'd like to amend that to go up to 80 million. Not that we have that money, but you know, before anybody gets all excited about the kind of What's the limit now, Mike? Okay, motion made by Supervisor motion. Dickinson, seconded by Supervisor mm -hmm. Strau. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Item four, referral from the Public Works Committee. Request to amend the county budget in the amount of $5,000 to reflect the receipt of funds donated by the Lewis Trust. Uh, motion made by Supervisor Strau, seconded by Supervisor Merlino, and I would like to add, if anybody else would like to donate funds, we will gladly take it. Uh, Good luck. <laughs> okay, motion to approve. Uh, or, we'd have a motion. I'm sorry. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Thank you. Item five, referral from the Support Services Committee. County Attorney, request for a source of funding for the remainder of the 2017 for the second assistant county attorney position. Uh, this was passed in personnel and uh, probably have to take it out of our contingency. I think we have 252 in the 252.6. <coughs> motion Go made ahead. by Supervisor Simpson, seconded by Supervisor Frazier. Are we all good with that motion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. <coughs> Information technology requests to appropriate funds in the amount of $96,825 from the Computer Reserve Fund for the purchase of computers and related equipment and software for various departments. <coughs> That's a lot of Supervisor McDevitt. A lot of computers. Seconded by Supervisor Merlino. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Request and items to be discussed by the County Attorney. Brian? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, we are uh, chasing down Medicare reimbursement um, that was due us for the uh, capital expenses from the Cogen plant at Westmount, and we've had discussions with the uh, State Department of Health. Uh, they've asked us for someone who could uh, speak to the intricacies, complexities, and details of the reimbursement that we're claiming. Mike McCarthy of McCarthy, McCarthy and Conlon <coughs> had worked on that project. Uh, we had a prior contract with him. The contract expired, uh, and he is the the best suited person to do that work on our behalf to get that to chase that money down. Uh, he indicated to me that he would do the do the work for a, a hourly rate of 150 an hour, and we don't believe it will exceed 5,000. So that's what I'm asking for authority to do here today. One more bit, Mr. Dickinson. Motion made by Supervisor Dickinson, seconded by Supervisor McDevitt. Yeah, just make a comment. <coughs> I, I just, I, first of all, I, it really makes sense to be proactive with, with these kind of dollars, okay? I mean, we're, uh, it takes so long to, for that money to funnel back, to, but to stay on top of this is, that's what it's all about, and I think it makes a lot of sense. So, 
Thank you, Supervisor. I want to defer the credit to the chairman and to the county administrator because those are the people that were uh, banging down my door to make sure we chase this down. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. No. We're close. Good. 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 Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Okay, item seven. Request or items to be discussed by the county administrator. Supervisor Garrity, take it away. What am I discussing? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Request to appropriate funds in the amount of 5000 from the legacy. Oh, actually, you don't need to discuss this stuff. Um, journal report of transfers approved by county administrator staff since last meeting. We're all good there? Yep. We don't need a motion for that, do we? We need a motion. Right. Okay, so item B, we will need a motion, and that's to uh, appropriate oh, funds. The yeah, the 5000 yeah. From the Westmont Legacy Reserve Fund to the Public Nursing Home Budget to pay for the contract with McCarthy and Conlon. Motion made by Supervisor Dickinson, seconded by Supervisor Simpson, and I guess we'll take this out of uh, contingency as well. It comes out of no, the Westmont no, it comes Legacy. Out of the Legacy. Oh, this is out of the out of the Westmont Fund. Got to read the resolution. Yes, but oh, okay, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> New glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Is Rachel here? Can she step in? <laughs> okay, uh, motion and a second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Okay, another cup of coffee, please. Um, action is required on the following items um, approved by the Personnel and Higher Education Committee, and that was um, items 2 and 3A through D. Hirings. Huh? The hirings are setting yeah, yeah, yeah. the pace. Okay. I'll make that motion. Okay. Motion made by Supervisor Garrity. Second by Supervisor Frazier. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Okay. I just would like to uh, address the finance committee just real quick. On, on the deputy, uh, deputy department heads, when they fill in, I thought that we had come with uh, that uh, we weren't going to take any action on uh, paying the deputies more unless it was a threshold thing where they filled in for extended period of time for the department heads. And then I also thought that, you know, with our uh, performance evaluation process, maybe some of this would be taken up. But I'm, if, if I'm aired on that, I thought it shouldn't still be a pending item. And I think we passed it over and, and said this is what we were going to do with it. And I really thought that the performance uh, work team process was going to take care of some of that. So if I'm wrong, please tell me. If, if we need to address it more, then I'll have to put it as an action item to get working on it again. But I thought we had discussion, thoroughly vetted that, and we decided we weren't going to do anything at this time. Well, we did discuss that, was, that. Yeah, that was yeah. my yeah. So does it, need, does it still need to be on pending items, or could I it, think can so. it come off? I think we can take it off. I'm sorry, I should have brought it last time. but. My memory is foggy, but... Okay. Um, we are going to go into executive session um, for the settlement of potential litigation with Siemens, um, and hopefully this will alleviate a lot of the questions from at least the supervisors. Um, but when we come back, we will take questions and comments from the public. But right now, we do need a motion to go into executive made by Supervisor Dickinson, seconded by Supervisor Merlino. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carry. Thank you. Got it. There was no action taken in executive session. Um, would anybody like to make a motion from the Supervisor Dickinson? I'd like to make a motion. Uh, my motion is that uh, we approve the settlement agreement subject to final terms as negotiated by our attorney, Larry Paltrowitz. Okay. Motion made by Supervisor Dickens, second by Supervisor Strau. Any discussion? All in favor? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll do some discussion. Um, I'm going to vote no on this as I'm not comfortable with the verbiage in this. Um, and once that's released, people will see that. But I'm going to vote no. Uh, because of the verbiage is too restricting for me. Okay. I'll, 
so let me just make a comment. I'm going to vote no for the for the following reasons. I, I, let me say number one. Uh, I think it's a good agreement. Uh, I think the terms and conditions uh, uh, that have been arrived at uh, ultimately are, the, are probably the best agreement we could ultimately get. Thirteen years later, we have we have finally come to the to the end of the road here. There are two. Um, areas of the contract that I have significant issues with, uh, and that is the, uh, the verbiage in the contract that, that restricts uh, members of the Board of Supervisors from, from really talking about the agreement in place. So I have a, a, a disagreement as an elected official uh, being gagged like that. Uh, my second disagreement, uh, uh, so that, that is fundamentally my, my disagreement with, 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 with the issue at hand. But again, I think uh, uh, the, uh, I think at the end of the day, uh, this may very well be uh, 13 years later, uh, uh, the best we're going to do in terms of dollars and cents. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we do have a motion and a second on the floor. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Opposed. Opposed. Yeah. Okay. Motion carries. Um, okay, at this point, I would like to take a comment from from the floor. If anybody would like to make a comment or a question, please step to the podium. Uh, the chairman will be setting a date for a special board meeting. Um, but at this point, if anybody would like to come to the podium, please state your name and an address or address or <coughs> where you're from. Travis. Travis White at Queensbury. Um, just two simple questions <coughs> and one comment. Um, in the executive session, were there any uh, representatives of uh, Bergman present? And were there any representatives of Siemens present? No. Okay. And my, uh, my comment is I would be concerned, um, well, I guess it, maybe it's a question. Um, will the final resolution contain the term uh, that was just read here that it would be subject to final terms as approved by the county attorney or will those terms be uh, fast and hard by the time that this is actually taken to a vote at this special meeting? <coughs> the, <coughs> the final language will be appended to the agenda for the meeting so that's what will be um, presented to the board and like any other document that the board uh, is going to consider they're free to amend it you know, make a motion to amend it from the floor. Right. So what is available today at this moment would be what you have to discuss, but subject to some changes that might be made. There's, there may be one change <coughs> I envision that may happen today. Uh, if that happens today, as soon as that change is made, then it'll be on an agenda, it'll be public. Okay. On the website or? I'll send you a copy. Email. I'll Thank send you. you a copy. Mark? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> Thank the uh, committee for the work on this. I know it's very difficult, and um, I want to just thank you for your service. I have one request to make before this deal is signed and sealed. I would like a, an accounting of the three Siemens deals uh, to date. Uh, my last report that I got from the treasurer showed that there was $10.5 million invested in total on the three Siemens deals with Koja and the Municipal Center in the countryside. And I'd like to uh, understand better uh, how that money uh, paid off for the taxpayer or did not pay off for the taxpayer. In other words, uh, we know that there's Medicaid payments that still haven't come in. I think it's to the tune of about 1.4 million, Mike? Uh, 1.3 million. Um, we know that through the Internet report that the COGEN uh, did not achieve uh, savings. We would have been better off uh, having stayed on the grid. Uh, we just got the Bergman report that uh, identified over $700,000 shortfall in the uh, geothermal for seven years. If you project that out, 15 years, it's $1.5 million shortfall. We spent, I think, $4.1 million on that system. So I'd like to just see this rolled up into a number to say, okay, here's what we, we, we did get or did not get for the $10.5 million investment before this deal is finalized. Thank you. Anyone else from the public? 
Okay. Uh, I guess I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion made by Supervisor Dickinson, seconded by Supervisor Frazier. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Thank you very much.